hits. a fish, absolutely tighter than a fish, straight from the churches of Newtown to the pulpits of Piermont. Please make them feel the light. Front end looter, come on down. Richard, bass machine and Bo, one of the uh, guitarists of the Jewel Prong guitar attack there. How are you? Very fine, thank Any you. Any sweat there yet? Is the sweat kind of starting to build up? No, that is... I think so my cool. pancake's kind of dripping a little. You are dripping on my face coming out. There. Yeah. Now, what's been uh, going on in the, the land of Lotus since your uh, tea party experiences there over Easter? Ooh, well, we uh, sort of got over the tea party experience and then we... Maybe we out. should dwell on that. Was that kind of exciting times? Can I do my, um, <laughs> my Jeff Martin impersonation? Oh, do we need candles? Oh, we've got a candle on the set. 
Chip. I've, I've got a good feeling about tonight. I think it's going to be very special. Oh, no. Thank you for such a beautiful experience. Every night he said that. Oh, it was great. No, but really? it's true because tea party gigs are very special affairs, but it's, I saw the Beastie Boys twice and I couldn't believe they... I'm sure it was very special for Jeff, there, judging from the size of the... Um, he had beforehand. Mm. The size of the what he had beforehand? Oh, okay, we shan't talk about that. Crazy okay. play, driving a lot there. So, well, dry, you do a lot of driving, you do a lot of touring, mm. uh, and I'm, th I'm wondering if travel is kind of a bit of a, an incentive in your album titling there, your, uh, your first album self-titled, uh, uh, which is uh, not really that relevant. But uh, the second one, Let's Ride, and more recently the last of the V8 Interceptors, is travel, cars, machinery, mm. some kind of theme within the band. We spent a lot of time in vans, that's certainly true, as would any, <coughs> any young travelling troubadours. Dog Boy? I heard about Dog Boy, guys. yeah, I heard about that little accident. We actually saw the van yesterday, they were beeping at me and going... <laughs> in the new van? Check it out! Oh, in the... Well, this because they had Tarago. two incidents. Yes, well, they I only heard about turning the into the Cosmo, and the other one where the front tyre popped and they went into a guardrail. It's a trap for young players, it really is. Have you had a dangerous Tarago experience? No, we had a couple of amateur crooks run up the back of our van once. Mm. In uh, where, where Gold were you Coast. Coast. Gold, Gold Coast. Coast. Yeah. Beautiful sunny Gold Coast. Love yeah, it. Yeah, there are not many crooks there. I'm surprised. Uh, I mean, what were they doing there? They're visiting their grannies or, you know, just going doing picking well, flowers by the highway or something. They like were that. taking something to the Gold Coast for a friend of theirs. Oh, okay. A little bit of that kind of situation. Yes. Now, uh, travel and such, Canada's a place you've been to and no means no come from Canada and uh, you've had uh, a lot of experience with them Certainly. over time. Do you still keep in contact with them? I emailed uh, their manager when I was working at the ABC for a while and I had access to email and I thought, oh well, who do I know that lives miles away, I'll email them. So I emailed the manager and I said, you know, if any of the bands ever reads this, then write to me back and he said, unfortunately, no one in the band gives a shit about email or computers in general, so... Wow, no, e even though basically. they did take, a, take him into their hearts. How do you get in contact with them then? A well, banner, giant banner in the sky, maybe. Yeah, that's well, not got, a bad idea. They've got a lot of love to give, and I think they try to spread it out over a lot of bands. You know, they've given us our dose of love, and now they're uh, giving some other people some. Have you kind of moved on to that sheltering position of harbouring young bands under your wing? No. We, we're actually the kiss of life. The kiss of life? Bands that support us going to become Who successful. has supported you out. recently to become large? Um, so UMI. UMI, the that's true. That is silver chair. Yep. 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 Cold chisel. Cold yes, chisel. Yes, chisel. Oh, I remember that. Uh, Where would they be? Out. The oils. Black and Decker, that's a good point. <laughs> How did we get on Floyd to Floyd Vincent. Tools? No, it was, in all seriousness, yeah. silver chair did Spurs support us Jesus. once. At the Manly Youth did support Center. you at the Manly, Manly Youth Center. It was very funny. The crowd was split right down the middle. Down this side, there were lots of young blokes going, Lord up, Lord up. On the other side, there was lots of our young ladies. That was quite an interesting little fight. Oh, wow. That was a manly. Yeah, Have you, where, where are the most feral crowds to be found in Australia, or, or indeed the world? We had a couple of true spastics in Byron Bay not two weeks ago. Ooh, and they, this yes. was some kind of festival experience? or no, they, they just, They'd honed in just, on the loader gig? Yeah, just a gig at the Great Northern, but there was some guy, his moves were just out of this world. Ooh, he was yeah. up the front. Dancing? Dancing, I if you can call it that. Either that or epilepsy. God. Yeah. Wow. Mm. His chakras are all mixed up. And what about up? throwing things and stuff? The Blue Meanies lead singer recently had the the, uh, the affair, the offshore festival. Did you play mm, that? Yes, we did. Everclear, Everclear. had an arse. That was a right there. after us with a bunger. It was right after you. Right after they us. went off stage. And then they came back on again. Yeah, frightening stuff. So you've never copped a flare or any uh, danger like that? No. If you guys are in touch with you, I like that. Yeah. We well, did a gig in Newcastle. They threw some sandwiches at us. Sandwiches? What? Uh, he's from Newcastle. He's given a thumbs what's up. The, he's the go there. Was that you? Uh, no, was no, that, no, no, it was no, not no, you. The singers in Newcastle. He wouldn't. He wouldn't most a sandwich. Fair enough. <laughs> what? Oh, what led? You know what happened there? How do you deal with those kind of affairs? You just try not to step on them. You know, he could slip on a bit of avocado or easily. Uh, yeah. Try not to let any meat or meat products touch me. Is there a bit of a vegan policy in the uh, the looters? Only <laughs> one. Oh, laughs, laughs there. You big beef band. Keen on your beef. Davis, tell us about beef. Uh, it's one of many fine meats available to anybody who eats. Oh, it's, it's hard to tell there. No, it I is. think yes. Yes, we, we like it. We wouldn't, we wouldn't call ourselves vegetarian, although that, that meat does sort of come into our diet on, on a regular occasion. 
bit of meat. Touch, bit of meat. Touch not too much, you know, we're not wrong about it or anything. A little bit of meat. It's not, it's not three times a day. Now the artwork, I'm kind of Pete's uh, up the back on drums there and he's actually done the artwork for the record. Uh, which is probably a good play because drummers often don't earn uh, much money there, which is a very sad thing. Um, like with songwriting, uh, he's giving the nod there, the big nod. Unlike, of course, the Davidson Bow are extremely rich uh, from their efforts within the band. Do, do you get paid for artwork? You wrote the hits. He does, you know. Yeah? And do you give him credit for it? No. Yes. All, all songs by the band. With the smiles everywhere, they've suckered this young man. He came to the city with hopes, dreams, dreams of the rock, and they've shattered it for he him. He doesn't get paid for the artwork. He doesn't get paid for he the artwork. He paid. He does it out of love. No wonder it's stick figures. <laughs> <laughs> Saving well, money on ink there. Now tell us about the Lotus Side Projects. I believe there's uh, the Horse Whisperers or uh, some such thing. No. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm in a band called The Impossibles. Mm -hmm. Richard's in a band called The Grim Bachelors. Davis is in a band called the Greg Brady Overdrive. And Stallion. And Stallion. Stallion is a newer project, I feel. Mm, that's Davis and Matt Strong, the strength from Custard. Oh! oh I, can't I give, shudder to think. I can't give too much away about that one, but... Uh, it sounds like a Moist Boys single. kind of affair. The yeah, first but... single? Davis, what's the first single called? Uh, you're out of the band. You're out of the band. Yeah. You're out of the band. Yeah, Pete plays in Jim Cobain and the Dreamy Time Escorts. Now, I must admit, I bought the Jim, K Jim Cobain Debo there, a very catchily titled tape there, and then took it home and, you know, it was kind of, you know, it was a, you a demo. It. Yeah, much like the Smoking Kills demo. demo. Yeah. It was exceptional, like the Smoking Kills demo. <sighs> but we like to spread ourselves around, you know. We too have a lot of love to give. And, yeah. uh, do you think they're gonna, it's going to be like Kiss and you'll all just kind of go off the solo yeah. albums? We've discussed the solo this already. Albums. Yeah. Yeah, and then the best of the solo albums. Oh, mm. what a... I never thought and you Pete could will do come that. out and get a rose and a towel. <laughs> you sit there on a stool and sing um, one of his hits. Like the All-Star Jam, he'll just sing it. <laughs> solo style. A drummer came from outer space and a, Well, I'll tell you about the All-Star. So wow, that's, that's a bit too in tune, though. Going to the Peter tune. Chris style here. There was a bit, there's a nice acoustic version of Pulse on your latest single, which you'll be performing for us later in the show, Four Starch Heritage Arsehole. Uh, there's mention there of Blackhawks crashing at air shows and uh, landslide kind of affairs. Is that just a general G up about foolishness? It's oh, about, it's foolishness uh, as it applies to the Liberal Party. Sorry, can I say that on You start? can, because my next I? question is, are you going to write a song about the GST? Well, maybe. But there's two on this album that are direct results of... Um, our, our mate Johnny. Your mate Johnny, that's incredible because uh, the radio station today, the youth government radio station, uh, was having a debate or, you know, talk about the GST, find out more about it. And uh, they said, well, we can't actually be a, a political opinion here, we just have to open the phones no, to people. And then they played it. the Whitlams. Yeah. And I thought, well, there's no, their... Uh, the ABC their does, it's, they do their best to be political without being political. So, Johnny, what's, what two songs have Johnny inspired? It's the Cowbell song and Four Star Heritage Arsehole. Right. But, you know, yeah. Now, which song contains the three-inch dragon? Is that Heritage Arsenal? Scorpio. Scorpio. That That's Scorpio. Yes. What's going on with that? One of the, more, the very interesting tracks on the album, Last of the V8 Interceptors. What's going with the three-inch dragon? What is that a, uh, alluding to? Well, I, I'm going to have to take the floor here. That, that was a bit of esoteric reading I was doing, you know, and when, when one looks, it's feeling very angry and looks into oneself, you know, and you feel like this big, scary dragon, oftentimes it's, it's only really about that big and you should just get over it. Wow, which book does this come from? I can't remember. Just lots of reading, you've done lots of reading. I was doing a bit of reading there, yeah. Maybe. It was maybe Seuss, could have been a Seuss book. I almost suggested that, but I didn't want to impinge on the... Fine uh, works, fine works. Seuss, been getting into a bit of Seuss you recently. You know, the biography of Dr Seuss is one of the finest books I've ever read. That is worth getting, is it? Absolutely. Yes. Dr Seuss. Is it called Seuss. something or is it just called the biography of Dr Seuss? What is it called? Seuss? It's called... Dr. Zeus and Mr. Geisel. Mr. Geisel. His real name was Theodore Geisel. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Wow, we have picked up a pearl of a gem. Literary right from front end yeah. loader. Absolutely, Dr. Zeus biography. What is coming up for the loader? Uh, <coughs> sleep. Yep. Bit of rest. Yeah, bit of rest. It doesn't make for interesting television, but that's what we're going to do. Wow. Yep. For how long? For about six weeks. Six weeks. Wow. And then you've got some big, uh, crazy tour mm. coming up. We're going up to central Queensland for the first time ever. Oh, gosh. A few days off. No. Don't think so, no. no. Just and that's you by yourselves? By ourselves. Taking some youngsters under your wings. And some local youngsters. We're going to try and give them some love. Oh, that is just such good play. We'll drive carefully. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for confessing all your sins here on the jump. We'll hear some more songs from Front and Later. Front and Later. Loader. In the later. show. Loader on. Uh,
What was that? Nothing really. Oh, I hate being deaf in that side. Right now, it's time for the leaders smashing pumpkin. It's again time for our live guests in the House of Calm. Please make them feel welcome at home. Front end loader with Pulse. of the Fugees featuring old Dirty Bastard and Maya and a very slick number two. I don't know, what do you think, Bo? Pretty slick. Mm. Nothing like rehashing Kenny and... That's right, Dolly. Dolly. Who would have thought Island in the Stream? Well, I think they did a very tough, definitive version of it, you know, and they, they should be congratulated. Yeah, well, it's very popular at the moment. There's lots of sampling going on and really expensive clips. Well, I was just saying, uh, Richard, the guy in the mask over here, has a theory that in any of these video clip style shows, yeah. if you just had a dollar meter in the corner, yeah, showing yeah. the viewer as the video progressed how much it was costing, I think that'd be quite a very quite an eye-opening kind of thing to have. You exactly. Know? Like that one would probably up about a quarter of a million, I reckon. Oh, yeah, they're like mini movies. Yeah. It's incredible. They have, they're great to watch, but you know, it's pretty hardcore. Does you know, tend to detract a, a bit like from the music. You can have yeah. any kind of shit playing in the background as long as everybody's beautiful and it, uh, mm. and it costs a lot of money. Yeah, very true. Very true indeed. What kind of clips do you guys do? Oh, five dollar ones, yeah. yeah. See, the dollar meter for us, it goes for about two and a half minutes and <laughs> ends up at 550. 
Oh, good on you. That's that's good. Well, They're the you, better you ones. Know, They're the we all look like a bag of shit, but you know they were cheap. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. All right. Well, I should get out of the way and let yeah, you perform. Yeah, we've got, some, got a job to do Once here. Once again, yeah. yes. Okay. Well, here they are, front and loader, our live artist here tonight with Weak as Piss. And I, I wanted to ask you quickly before, Bo, yeah. is it about someone that you know? Like, is it, you know, weak people? Well, Dave's wrote the song and it's sort of um, autobiographical. Oh, I see. Cool. Well, thanks very much. No, that's all right. <laughs> Cleared that one up for you, didn't I? <laughs> really easy. <laughs> thanks. I love him, uh, great. Yes. Yes. All right, there's, there's lots more coming from Front End Loader, our great guest here tonight on the joint. But a heritage asshole. Decide. 
Oh yeah, biggest crowd ever. Not. Yeah. If there's one thing you spend your money on before it's all spent on the GST, make sure it's Front and Loader's latest album, Last of the Via Interceptors. When you do pick up your copy, treat it with care. Don't hurl it around on the table like we did. If you don't get that album, make sure you get their second album, Let's Ride, or their first self-titled album. Uh, don't buy any petrol, food, or smokes before you buy some front and loader. Thank you for being part of everything. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Always a pleasure. And with the very last of your funds, make sure you tune in to Thursday night's show for an informative show indeed. Our guests including Jody Young from E! News and Tabitha from Marina's Graveyard Shift. They'll be supplying handy hints on how to host a show, Jabba. That's right, see the bit of damnation tour. You should go and see him. We went and saw him.